Hi guys, Paul here. Um, I've got these blinds over here that aren't working. Same design as those right there. But I can't open them and I can't close them. And I did not find a video on how to fix them except buying replacement parts. So I took it apart myself, found a way to fix it myself for free. And posting a video here in case somebody has similar blinds. Most blinds have the same mechanism so you should be able to figure it out just watching this video. And uh, I'll show you how. Here's the name of mine in particular. They're Hunter Douglas, Vignette, Modern Roman Shades. So they're affixed to these brackets here. And the way you take them off when they're on there is by pressing this in right behind the shade. So in order not to break the bracket, these are plastic, they're discontinued, they now have metal replacements. But if you still have the plastic ones, the original ones, you would press this right behind the blind, and it looks like this. Here I am, behind the blind. You see that bracket right there? I would stick my screwdriver right there and press that latch to open it. That's how you do it on one side, press it in, it pops off, hold it, press the other side, the whole thing comes off. And uh, mine, here's the problem with mine, I took them off, here's the string coming down. When I pull one side, or the other side, there's no movement at all. Zero. So something's stuck in there, the mechanism is not spinning. So I'm going to take this off, all it is is on clips. You can start pulling it off by hand, here at the corner. If you have this design, don't worry, it, it will not break. And then, for this part here, just put a screwdriver against it, hit it, pops right off. Here's what I got underneath, the mechanism, no movement. So, uh, what's the problem here? We don't know. We have to check what's going on inside there. When this white spins, this should spin. In some cases, what you're going to have here is the white is going to spin, but it won't engage with this mechanism. So the white will be spinning, but this will not be spinning. So that's a little bit of a different problem, but it's solvable as well. So I'm going to take the screw off. And this screw is going to disengage this mechanism from the back plate. And check here, you see this little pin? That's how you know the position, right? When you put it back in. There we go, it's separate. You take the screw out. And now that the screw's out, this top part easily comes off. And look at that. And then you wonder why it doesn't spin. It got caught in there before. And now all the string isn't allowing it to spin, so I'm going to work my way and get all this stuff out of it. Something fell. So this piece comes off as well. This piece comes off as well. I cleaned out all the garbage here. And underneath these, there's these little gears. So two of mine fell out. You see they're right here on my... Uh, ledge. So the way you put everything back in is I have a total of three. So I don't know whether the previous owners of this house lost the other ones or not, but with the three I have, I spaced them out evenly. One here, one here, and one will be there. There it is. Third one. There we go, all three are on. And I'm going to check the floor to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep, that's all we had is just those three. Focus camera, focus. And... So now we're putting everything back on. So I'm grabbing this mechanism. Making sure I'm aligning this, this open part. With these 
metal pieces, right? I need it to fit right and just like that. And then engage. Play with it a little bit. Should go right in. The gears need to line up. There we go. Seems to be going in. This gear isn't lined up. Play with it a bit. Oops. There we go. All three. There we go. All three are in. And moment of truth here. Let me assemble the whole thing first. I don't want it to fall apart on me. And I'm putting this metal metal rod on on the edge, right in the center of these metal pieces. Because it, it bumps between the two. All on. And I'm gonna put the screw back on and see what happens. There you go, and some more light. Again, we're aligning this top piece, like I said earlier. And my screw's going back in. I'll tighten it later. Well, looks like it's spinning again. You see this piece? That's what's engaging and that's what's spinning my whole closet system. So I'm going to tighten this screw. That's my daughter climbing there. Always wants to help dad. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna clip this right back on here. Just a bit. Mm -hmm. You can pause it. Okay. So is it still filming? Mm -hmm. So you can ideally take that off so you're not confined to this little space like I am. As you can see, I'm not the most. Uh, forward-looking person, trying to get it fixed as fast as possible. I can't find this from the side. You see, uh, this is kind of free-moving. So what you do here is you align this metal, pe this metal thing with that metal inside. That pops in, and now you can spin it to any orientation you need it. So once that's in, then you make it fit. Okay, so now that that's in, I aligned everything. Align the back first, there we go. And here we go. Let's see what happens. The way that this works is you have to put the back corner in first back corner in all the way tight to, to the top of the bracket push it in and then bring the the corner closest to you up until you hear a snap so just press up there we go that's one side push the me other side okay. it's up and now let's try if it works This did not work before, and it took me less than 10 minutes, and saved probably 30 bucks in parts and labor, or more. And I'm sure you have a very similar mechanism, if not the same mechanism, on your blinds, so you can fix it yourself. Have fun.